Hey everyone, and welcome back to Yosemite Valley. Welcome to one of the last episodes of the aquarium. I really hope you guys have a good week so far, and thank you so much for tuning in. In case you like the content, you know, as always, I would appreciate if you stick around and hit that subscribe button. Um, but now, without further ado, let's talk about what's going on today, because it is a very exciting episode, as you can hopefully tell from my commentary. We are now moving towards the end of this aquarium, and there was one special thing I wanted to do, and again, big thanks to Mr. Paul Slay. He is the main inspiration, I want to call it, because he, he kind of made this tutorial on how to do this. Maybe, like, uh, let's say seven to eight episodes too late, but <laughs> this means I need to redo quite a lot in here in the entrance area. But I, it kind of worked better than I was expecting. Like, it, it worked a lot more smooth um, than I was expecting it to happen. Um, but the thing is, I... Um, I wanted to do this just from the beginning. For those of you who have watched the first episodes and also the first stream, they know that I always have been trying to, uh, yeah, have this little pool on top, like having... I wanted to have this one thing where you have in the middle, like a little um, circular tank that is very steep, you know, where you have, like people suggested, and that was super great suggestion last time, um, I had to have some uh, to have some animals in there as well, so um, it's 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 rather cool to have it this way. And then I wanted to have like a bigger pool on top where you can actually walk below. And um, yeah, so for the middle tank, obviously jellyfish will be the coolest idea to have. I mean, we don't have them in the game, but um, I think that would be a very nice idea to have them, just because the um, you know the, the kind of up and down movement of these animals would fit super well to this vertical um, layout of this tank. But yeah, I wanted to have something that is super cool, like also um, like a really nice eye catcher when you enter the aquarium over here. Because the two other entrances, like the one entrance towards the riverside is quite okay because you walk into the uh, tropical fish and sea turtle area, which I like a lot. Um, then the one that is towards the actual um, African area is a little bit boring, to be honest. It's just like a lot of concrete. I have to think about what we do, maybe some screens. And that one over here, which leads towards Australia, um, or at least not Australia, but it's like the kangaroos and the uh, and the koala. So you might say it's, it's more likely to say Australia, but yeah, um, was still a very bit of a... You know, not boring, but it, it looked kind of weird. And now it's actually the highlight of the entire thing. You can see the water is doing weird things up there. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the tutorial of Paul Slay, I linked it down below in the description again, so you guys can have a glimpse uh, how it's done, because maybe it was a little bit too quick in the commentary. Now, uh, as you have seen that, but yeah. So I am... Um, I tried to come up with a design that really reinforces the overall structure of it. So meaning that we have a basic tank in the middle, like a, as you can see over here, it's going to be um, like a circular little thing uh, where actually we have a lot of plants in that grow all the way up. And then we potentially could have some jellyfish going up and down, almost like in a lava lamp, I guess. But, you know, it's actually a tank. Um, so which would be very cool for the people to walk around. And then on the top level, as you can see over here, we will have this um, these kind of uh, very interesting structures that lead into the actual bigger tank where also different fish could be in. So not only jellyfish, but something else um, could be in here. And it just should be like a highlight of the entire area. And I was about to make this like look um, very nice and intricate when you look from, from the bottom. And I, I think I really, I really, really managed to capture the essence of it, what I wanted. Um, but obviously it all had to be connected to this oval tank to hide these ugly corners of the water as much as I could. So for those of you who still don't know what this is about, about the water. Now, unfortunately, the water in this game seems to be just a texture. Um, but also, as much as it is unfortunate at, a, at one point, it's very good at the other because you can abuse it quite a lot and make whatever you want. Because in fact, animals can always use the water below um, if they once enter it. So meaning, if you have uh, an animal entering this, you know, surface of water, everything below is treated as water by the game, even though the shader does not work everywhere. But if you have like, for example, a hippo in there, it will actually go underwater and actually treat it as being underwater. And like crocs and stuff, they will obviously always swim on the surface because we don't really have animals that actually do dive. Um, so in case Frontier is going to add diving behavior at some point in the game, I'm quite sure that they will have to change the water dramatically. So that will all be broken anyways. Um, and hence I'm going to just you know finish that off with all my creativity and all my ideas in my head um, without any restrictions in my head because 
there's there's not that much you can you can do about uh, what Frontier is doing. So uh, it it wouldn't be very helpful for me to think about what they would do uh, when I don't really know about this. So what I'm doing over here is building the best potential aquarium with animals in our imagination. And one thing that I have to change maybe a little bit because you guys gave me a very good hint that some of the fish don't really um, use, well not use, but um, many of the fish uh, should not have um, square, like uh, straight edges in a pool because they tend to swim against it because of their vision, I guess it was, um, if I understood that correctly. So I have to kind of turn some of the tanks uh, corners a little bit more into more roundish corners so that they don't actually swim against the wall because we don't want them to hurt themselves. You know, um, I'm definitely, a, I'm a good person, you know, I don't want to uh, have my animals hurt. But yeah, you can see I'm, I'm just putting down also here like a little bit of a um, closing structure it's all obviously a bit finicky working here in the middle to make sure it all sits well and looks good um, but yeah I think at the end you know, we also have like a screenshot in it really looks good and we will have one more episode which is basically finishing it all off making sure to have all the details in I did not really have that much to do you know I have to make the roof obviously um, we need to do a little K for sea turtles as you guys suggested really good idea um, I have to do some last little things around the pathway and on the lower part where we have the vending machines and the walkway towards the deep uh, sea tank um, there is still a bit of a problematic situation going on with the theming so we need to um, finish that off a little bit and then we still have this middle tank which um, is below the actual um, upper level pathway and I guess you also gave me like a very nice idea what to do there um, so I'm, I'm definitely gonna go with like a very plant-based uh, underwater thingy so that we have a lot of um, you know greenish plants in there to pre just pretending that we have um, a very cool ecosystem going on there so yeah I think all in all I'm uh, more than happy with the uh, aquarium itself you know it's um, it's definitely something that I need it um, just for me personally to move on and to just you know I want to call it flex the creative muscles, but that always sounds weird to me because it sounds like I have some specific creative muscles, which I don't. It, it just like I wanted to give my brain a little different challenge because I had I, I saw the fear coming of getting stuck a little bit in Planet Zoo. And um, in all honesty, it happened a little bit, um, but I needed this little challenge over here to make sure that I free myself from all the restrictions of the game so far and just pretend there is something else uh, to do. And I gotta say that was the best decision ever because now um, as, as this is mostly done and I've got all my ideas put into here and just like not all of them but I found a lot of things that I want to do now with the game that actually could function um, and so I will do this next but yeah for the moment uh, this is really something I am quite proud of because it turned out to be looking very cool. Um, I'm very sorry though that I can't really... Um, share this with you guys as a blueprint what i might do is i might just delete a whole bunch of the zoo around and then just release this aquarium so that everyone can experience it um, also on a weaker computer uh, because the problem about the rest is you know mainly that the zoo is already pretty hefty on your performance so just releasing the zoo again would take away the fun for most people so i'm looking into just releasing the aquarium section um, as, as soon as it's done, um, but I have to see how much of an of an effort it is to delete all the stuff around because, you know, deleting stuff in this game seems to be simple, but it isn't. I mean, you have to get rid of all the animals, you have to get rid of all the barriers and stuff, so it's, yeah, I don't know. I, I would love to just have to, like, a delete it all option, you know, just select an area and it's like, come on, just making it a parking lot, you know, Pl kind of bulldoze it down. I need this this good old hefty bulldozer tool. <laughs> that would make things a lot more easy. Uh, but yeah, that's just like, you know, one of the one of the least big problems in this game because usually you should not need to bulldoze everything if you're not called Mike Sheets. So, um, <laughs> sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> but you'd love the option. I'm quite certain about this. Uh, but yeah, all in all, I'm I'm just quite happy um, with with how this is all turning out to be looking right now. It's just it's just that I don't think uh, I could have done something so special with the in-game stuff. So I'm again very very happy 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 <laughs> that I freed myself uh, from this. But um, yeah, it's it's just something something I'm I'm really. Um, really just I don't know I, I can't really put that in words um sometimes 
building something that is not existing is even more fun than building something that is existing simply because you can still build everything according to what you hope for you know what i mean so it's you are you don't have the restrictions of uh the, the programming of what it will be um and yeah, yeah it's just in general it's just in general very very exciting here i mean i'm i'm just completely in love um with the aquarium as you potentially can tell um and it's just looking very nice yeah there's not that much more to talk about uh, so i want to use these last couple minutes to thank you guys first of all before we do anything else i say thank you to every single one of you because recently um, I think in general, YouTube has been, yeah, in a very problematic situation because this this month mostly is not very exciting. And also, to be honest, there is not that much new stuff quite yet. It will, you know, will be in November. There will be quite a lot of releases, obviously, alongside the new consoles and stuff. Um, but still, you guys have maintained a very good level of interaction. And I really would love to ask you to continue on that because that really gives me the most, you know. It's it's always nice to have the views and it's obviously also nice to see the channel growing. That's what I'm also here for. But the most valuable thing for me is the interaction with you guys. You know, all your comments, all your feedback is really what makes me go back to the video and check all the comments. And as you can tell, I'm trying really to answer most of them and i am happy to say that recently it got more complicated because there was just so much of them and so many comments and i really really love that so please keep doing that please tell me what you think about my builds let me know how you like this tank design let me know if you know something similar that you can refer to let me know what you would love to see in the game or even if you have an idea for the channel in general let me know about that you know if there's any criticism if i have some misspelled words as always you know that i'm not you know i'm not pissed if you guys guys um, try to correct me because I'm always trying to you know improve upon my language I prove on the content uh, the building itself the architecture I don't know the commentary the knowledge I can give you about this or whatever you know please keep on commenting because that really helps me out the most um, and while we talk about that for me personally the interaction is the best thing it's legit the best thing uh, about doing stuff as a youtuber if you will um, or a streamer to make it a bit more general, is the interaction. And hence, I would really ask you guys to consider going over to my Twitch channel and go for a follow over there, or just, I don't know, create an account and follow me over there as well. I really would love to see all of you guys a little bit more in my live streams, because that really, this is the most direct way of interacting. And I know it's, people would now say, hey, why are you not doing this here on YouTube, you know? And I, I say it plainly honest how it is. I just don't like YouTube live streaming. There are many reasons why I don't like this. Like, let's start about the very weird overlay of the chat and stuff. Um, there is n by far not that much for you guys. I mean, and this, for me personally, is one of the most important things. You guys need a good experience as well. And Twitch provides a very nice experience for the chat. You know, there's a lot of things that you guys can do that you can't do on YouTube. And for me as a streamer, I'm very used to it. It's very easy. It's very um, convenient. And so I can just focus more on streaming and being in interactive with you guys rather than the technology side of things and I think this is really the good part about it and I really still do hope that we can grow it so much that I will become partner at some point to even give you guys more you know just give you back more than than just a few emotes and stuff but as a partner I can just do it so if you want to please go down in the description there is the link to my twitch page you can just click there follow and if you need an account just use your youtube account bring it over to twitch and boom, you are there. Now, we're just putting some plans in. It's more like a proof of concept rather than the final design. So don't get too picky on the plans right now. But I think I like them. Um, and yeah, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. There will be two screenshots now for you. I really do hope you all stay safe and have a, still a very good time in these weird circumstances. Make sure to um, enjoy yourself and have a good day. I see you in the next one. And goodbye. watching this video i really do appreciate it i really hope you enjoyed it and um yeah i was really happy to have you here in case you enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed yet make sure to consider subscribing you can do it via this button here and if you want to see more uh, there are some cool other stuff linked here for you this is suggested for you personally that's pretty cool and in case you want to support the channel a tiny bit more you can do it via this wonderful hype camel link over here i really would appreciate it. and also big thank you already to all the people who do already support the channel really do appreciate that but now have have a wonderful time guys 
and I catch you in the next one.